This is the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Moisturizer versus the Inky List Peptide Moisturizer, which I've been asked to compare quite often and finally getting to it. Basically, they have similar packaging. They both have peptide in the name. That's kind of where the similarities between these two end, and I really um, have a lot of thoughts on these two since a lot of people talk about them together. They talk about the Inculus as a dupe for the Proteiny and lots of thoughts. So packaging, they both have very good packaging. Airless jar packaging, which is wonderful. In terms of denatured drying types of alcohol, the Drunk Elephant is alcohol free. The Inculus contains benzyl alcohol, which is a safe preservative for most people. It also contains phenethyl alcohol, which is typically used similarly for antimicrobial uh, preservation. Sometimes it's used for light fragrance. Thankfully, it's toward the end of the bottom of the ingredient list, but if you have sensitive skin or are very sensitive to certain types of alcohols, the Drunk Elephant is the one that wins. Okay, in terms of fragrance, I mentioned kind of the phenethyl alcohol is a bit of a fragrance. Both of these typically are fragrance free. I mean, the Inky List, that little bit of phenethyl alcohol doesn't give it any scent, thankfully. It's a small amount. So both of these are fragrance free, have no real noticeable scent. So it is a tie. So currently, Drunk Elephant is up one point. In terms of manufacturing location, the Drunk Elephant is made in the U.S., the Inky List is made in the UK, so no issues with that. So we've got another tie. Ease of use. So I think that's the main difference. The Drunk Elephant Proteiny has a really nice light gel texture to it, which makes it feel really nice. It smooths over skin easily, absorbs quickly. It works really well under makeup and sunscreen and foundation. It just feels really nice. People with oily skin and dry skin alike really can enjoy the texture of this one. The Inky List has a bit of a thicker texture to it. It's got more of a lotion texture, which is fine, but those with oilier skin might not prefer the texture as much, uh, but it does smooth over skin nicely. It absorbs almost as quickly, but it kind of sets to kind of a more emollient, kind of a radiant finish whereas the drunk elephant kind of sets to more of a natural finish so it just depends on your skin type if you have dry skin you might prefer the inky list version a little bit more than the drunk elephant but the nice thing is the gel texture of the drunk elephant works for all skin types um, and i found with the inky list it can sometimes not play well with some sunscreens if they're thicker but overall the drunk elephant has a little bit of a nicer texture i think and to be honest, when I wrote this, I was kind of rooting for the Yankee list because I'm a little bit over some of the drunk elephants' antics and their reputation. So keep that in mind. Okay, beneficial ingredients. So they both have peptide in the name, right? So that's why a lot of people mention the Yankee list as a dupe for the proteiny. I don't really necessarily want to go through every single one of these beneficial ingredients because the drunk elephant's ingredient list has 34 beneficial ingredients. Lots of peptides, lots of hydrating ingredients. Uh, we've got some ferments in there. I got a lot of amino acids, peptides, skin conditioning ingredients. It's a long list and it's got a lot of really great ingredients and peptides. The Inky list, so the Drunk Elephant has 34 real beneficial ingredients. I'm not counting slip ingredients like glycerin and butane glycol. I'm just counting the real good stuff. With the Inky list, we've got really six beneficial ingredients and i will say the peptides are at the very end of the ingredient list under the preservatives so we've got a very small amount of peptides so i will talk about the ingredients we've got betaine a humectant shea butter antioxidant hydrating ingredient vitamin e uh, lecithin emollient then we've got two peptides acetyl hexapeptide 37 and pentapeptide 48 and they're at the very end of the list so we've got 34 to 6 it's almost like a football game Whereas this one has 34 points and kicked like 10 field goals and this one kicked a half a field goal and then missed. I don't know. Huh. Or I don't know. You kick a half a field goal, but you can't miss. I, whatever. It just doesn't even compare. Which I'm, it's bummed. I really want the Inkless too well because it's so affordable. And Drunk Elephant is a little bit, their reputation precedes them, may I say. But it just isn't a comparison when you get to the good stuff. Which is my, maybe okay for some people. 
And I'll talk about that in a second. Okay. So then we get to acneogenic ingredients. They both have almost identical acneogenic ingredients. With the drunk alpha, we've got cetera alcohol, butane, butylene glycol, sorbitol and isosterate, carbamer, and vitamin E. Five. The inculus, we've got cetera alcohol, glycerol sterate, butylene glycol, carbamer, and vitamin E. Both five. It's a tie. So far, the drunk elephant, though, is up, I think, two points. Three points. So it's not looking good for the inky list. And if beneficial ingredients is the one thing you're measuring it on, the inky list doesn't compare. It can't. Okay, cruelty-free status. They're both vegan and cruelty-free, so we've got to tie again. Performance. So this is, I think, where it might be different. Okay, the drunk elephant helps keep skin hydrated, helps with firmness, helps in the long run with your skin maintaining moisture. The inky list is also very hydrating, but I find it can has a tendency to clog pores a bit, which is probably due to its slightly thicker texture. Other than instant hydration, which it offers, it really doesn't offer much for anti-aging. And the only two peptides in this one are in very small amounts, so it's not nearly impressive. It's not what you would think of with the moisturizer called a peptide moisturizer when the last two ingredients are what the star of the show is named after. I hate that. That's annoying to me. Don't include a minuscule amount of something and then name the product after it. Just don't do that. Or only include two of them. There's a gazillion peptides they could have included, but they didn't really go either way. So if you don't have real anti-aging concerns or you're very young, then the inculus might be all you need. But if you're looking for more anti-aging, help with firmness, fine lines, the drunk elephant's performance is what you need. Or something similar to it, like the Acure Radically Rejuvenated with Night Cream. Something to consider. So performance, the drunk elephant wins here. Price, uh, drunk elephant, 1.7 ounces. These are identical sizes. The Drunk Elephant at $68. This is $15. This is $1.38 an ounce. This is $0.30 cents an ounce. So the Inculus is much more affordable. So that's a nice. So they won that point. So they've won something. We get to the it factor. Okay, here, let me wrap it up in a couple sentences. If you want anti-aging effects, you want help with firmness or fine lines, this is the one to go with. If you're young, you don't necessarily need help with firmness. You don't really care too much about the peptides or you just need instant moisturizer. The Inky List is just fine. Uh, overall, the Inky List, in my opinion, it has some of the similar ingredients, but it just can't be considered really necessarily per se a dupe. A dupe, in my opinion, would contain much more peptides, amino acids, beneficial ingredients than this one contains. The inculus really mostly slip ingredients with a couple exciting peptides at the very end of the ingredient list. So, Drunk Elephant, including the ties, has nine points, where the inculus, including the ties, has five. But, you know what, it might be two totally different consumers, because if you're purchasing the Drunk Elephant, you might be looking for the peptides and help with anti-aging. Maybe if you're looking at the inky list, you just need some instant hydration. There's nothing wrong with, these are both great products in and of themselves. I just don't really consider this one to be straight out a dupe for the Drunk Elephant because it just doesn't have as nearly as many good ingredients. But they're both good products in and of their own right. And overall, I like that they're fragrance free and well packaged and cruelty free. So they both got a lot going for them. But overall, if you're looking at the product as a whole, the Drunk Elephant's a little bit better, but it is ridiculously expensive. So if the price is a concern, the Radically Rejuvenated Whip Night Cream from Acure, it's a lot more similar. It's got a lot more peptides in it than the, and it's similarly priced to the Inculus. So that might be the one you want to go for. So anyway, those are my thoughts on these two products. I'm interested in hearing from you guys what your thoughts are. Definitely the Drunk Elephant's reputation precedes it. Um, yeah, you can check out, I did a video on that recently if you want to watch that. But anyway, those are my thoughts on these two. Interested in your thoughts, so definitely leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. And stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much.